here everyone sees all Asians as like this amorphous group. But obviously in Asia, all the Asians know that they're different. And <laughs> many of them have had very contentious histories in terms of terrible things that they did to one another. So I'm sure that I think aside from the colorism aspect, there is racism in a sense, but maybe it's not so prevalent because there aren't necessarily large populations of each Asian populace in different Asian countries. If that makes sense. That's exactly it is like the history of relations that these countries have had with each other is like what dominates kind of prevailing thought mm -hmm. around how they feel about <laughs> the other like Asian groups versus for us in America, at least being like American born, especially we are not weighted down by that baggage because we weren't that close yeah. to like any atrocities committed yeah. by people from other countries. What we know is our experience here, which is like, well, we have all these like other people telling us we don't belong and grouping us together. So like, this is why we feel a kinship and like a unity with disparate groups of Asian folks mm -hmm. versus in Asia. Yeah, it's like longstanding that like, certain countries kind of hate each other yeah, and yeah. like they are more suspicious of like tourists of that nation or immigrants of that nation mm -hmm. and it ties again back to I think it's largely nationalism so like what your passport is mm -hmm. and therefore you're like the country that you're associated with and less race per se I have I kind of agree with you and I'm like but don't you think that is racism I don't think I've ever been in any way anything said to or looked a certain way because I appear a certain kind of Asian while traveling through Asia. Now, I haven't traveled through many areas of Asia, like I think Singapore and Thailand, and of course Taiwan, so I don't really have like a huge swath of experience, but wouldn't you say that like the history of the countries creates this idea that this specific kind of Asian who appears a certain way portrays these aspects or is like the manifestation of all these bad things even though the current generation of people there probably have nothing to do with all of the things that have happened in the past but people still have this concept of who a japanese person is or who a chinese person is based off of kind of the historical relationships between the countries yes i agree with that the only reason i think it's different is that they're homogenous countries it's just like it's like a to it's just a different context the like more analogous thing would be if uh, if the u.s were still like predominantly dominated by aryan white people mm. it was like 90 percent aryan white people and we we're like the other 10 percent and like being treated differently. It's not an excuse. It's more just like it's important context to mm -hmm. keep in mind. It's just like all these countries don't have a lot of immigrants. Right. Like these people are treated poorly, but a lot of it is because literally like the norm is like 90 plus percent one specific mm. type of person and blood in yeah. that country. I'm not saying they don't know any better. I'm not like giving it that kind of pass. Yeah. It's just like it's harder to move against that tide when like everyone around you is mostly yeah. one thing yeah. versus like here when we talk about the concept of minority, it's a it's a kind of like confusing topic to use that word because from like a statistic standpoint, like people of color are no longer necessarily like a minority in terms mm -hmm. of being like 10% of the country or 20% yeah. of the country. It's more just we have a lot of other baggage that makes that term have its correct meaning. Yeah.